OTF, or out the front, automatic knife. They have become extremely popular. In fact, I was at Blade Show down in Atlanta uh, this past weekend, and that's what I was looking for. Uh, and I looked through a number of different OTFs. Stumbled by the Kershaw booth. This is their first OTF or out the front knife. It's called the Livewire Model 9000. These are made in the USA. Uh, this is designed by Mike Diskin and the Kershaw original team. Uh, and actually, I got to meet Mike at the booth. He just happened to be there. They had no idea who I was. And, but after looking at a bunch of different OTFs, this was my pick. I mean, it is super easy to deploy. And yet, it has safety features where it's not just going to come open in your pocket. And so we're going to look, just kind of check out a lot of the details. Um, I was very impressed with this little knife and perfect for carrying, you know, especially when I want to dress it up a little bit. The Kershaw Live Wire Model 9000. This is Kershaw's first OTF or out the front automatic knife. Again, guys, we were going through Blade Show. I was handling a number of different out the front knives, really specifically looking for one. Uh, and stumbled across the Kershaw booth. I mean, it was really toward the end of the day. Out of all the different knives that we checked out, this had the smoothest action. And so Kershaw, to me, they did a really good job on this. We're going to look at a lot of the details. Uh, but to me, this is one knife that I carry as a barbecue knife. I carry it, you know, when I want to dress up and I want to go somewhere because out the front knives are not cheap. Um, and they're made very well if you're putting some money into it. Uh, there are some cheap knives out there. But really having something that's really quality, especially without the front, to me is important. But one of the big things with this knife is the deployment. And so as we bring it out, it is so smooth. And when we retract it, it's equally as smooth. You know, a lot of times with out the fronts or OTFs, when you start pressing, it's very difficult on your thumb. You have to have a lot of leverage. A lot of that has to do with the safety features and the linkages, but with this knife in particular, it just comes out really smooth and it's not too much pressure. It's enough to where it's a safety feature, but yet when you hit it, it just comes out. And sometimes if I don't have the right grip on the knife, uh, it can be difficult to deploy. And so that's one thing that I just, that really impressed me about this knife overall. And we did handle a lot. And to me, this was one of the best that was out there. There's some jimping right on the top. And of course, it kind of raises up to get a good leverage on here. I'm telling you guys, this is really a smooth operating knife. And again, made right in the USA, in fact, in Oregon, where the Kershaw headquarters is. Uh, they do produce knives that are imported, some of their cheaper line, but to me, American-made knives, they're just such a good quality, and I don't mind paying a little extra for them. Now, the blade length is 3.3 inches. It's .125 inches in thickness. It is a spear point designed with a flat grind. Uh, the steel content is CPM 20 CV, which is an excellent steel. And it's really corrosion resistant, superior hardness, you know, wear resistant, the normal. But it has a stonewashed finish on it, uh, and this is really going to hide any kind of scratches that you might put on it. And then, of course, the body itself, uh, the aluminum is 6061T6. Uh, it has a hard anodized finish on it that is very matte. I like that, which gives it a little bit of texturing. And then we have some lines cut on the different angles here and here. Of course, that's mimicked on the other side. And then we have right here where this kind of cuts down, there are some small lines. It's almost imperceivable, but they're there to give you just a good solid grip on this knife. I love this little choil area, which gives you just enough leverage to be able to, to deploy that thumb right on the release button, and you can just hit it. And I'm telling you guys, it is really slick. To me, I love this design for just even cutting. Now, I'm not going to use this as a utility knife because I really like, again, to carry this, you know, for when I get a little bit more dressed up. 
but this is going to be very suitable for an everyday utility knife. Seems like a lot of times I get the double edge blades and they're a little difficult, especially if you're trying to get a little bit of pressure. And this is going to be a knife that you could use for self-defense, but also you could use as a utility knife. Now, before we get into it too much, guys, make sure that you check your local laws, especially with out the front automatic knives. Uh, there are uh, restrictions in different areas. For here in South Carolina, we don't have many restrictions on knives, but sometimes in municipalities and cities, they can have restrictions. So you just want to know the law if you're carrying this in your pocket. It has black oxide on the steel screws that are on either side. Uh, I did notice on the Kershaw website, they have a diagram of this knife, just, you know, all the different parts. Uh, I typically don't like to get into automatics, but a lot of you guys like to know the details. Uh, here we have like a little bit of a trough right here on the back side, and then it's on this side as well. This is a fully ambidextrous knife. Uh, it has an angled pocket clip, really nice spring steel. It's kind of short, but it gives you a really deep carry. And this can be switched to the other side really simply, and it's uh, the attachment points are here on the back. Just a very comfortable knife to hold. Now, it's really thin. And that, to me, is also one big plus for this knife. Um, it, it rides really close to your body uh, and in your pocket. So it's 4.8 inches in length. It's 1.03 inches in width and the depth is three-eighths of an inch. It is really thin. Of course, the pocket clip does come out just a touch. But guys, I'm telling you, this is very, very comfortable. It weighs three ounces, so it's really lightweight. And again, out of all the different knives that we messed with, this was the most impressive. Now for civilians out the front, you know, you think that this thing's coming out and it may go through your pocket, may go through your hip. But Again, civilian models, when you deploy it, there's a safety feature built in to where it doesn't fully deploy. If it doesn't come all the way out, the spring just allows it to retract. And then you just need to pull it out, click it, and now you're back in business. Uh, when it comes to military and law enforcement, a lot of their knives are, where when they come out, they deploy just like they would go through. And uh, there's no safety feature there. Um, so one thing about these is they're really safe to carry. Now it was really funny when we stopped by the Kershaw booth and again it was at the last minute. Um, I was We were really kind of winding things down um, and so went by and saw this, checked it out. I was very impressed but I did get to meet the designer Matt Diskin um, and he is a, an incredible knife maker and he was just happened to be standing there and so I just spoke to him for a minute. Uh, this was also in a collaboration with the Kershaw original team. So they worked on this together. But guys, I'm telling you, if you're looking for an OTF that is super slick, uh, this is going to be a great choice. And if you happen to find one, just check it out. Because, I mean, these were limited there at the show, and they have been just released. So this is one knife that a lot of people are looking for. And honestly, when I bought it, uh, I didn't really know what all was going on around it. In fact, one of my buddies called me and said, man, there was a lot of excitement over the live wire. And so I just wanted to bring this quick overview just to kind of show you guys what it's about and encourage you to just check it out. If you're a knife guy, the Blade Show is one of the best places to find every type knife out there. It is the biggest knife show in the world. And they have them in Atlanta, Georgia. They have them in Texas. And they also have them on the West Coast. So check those out if you ever get a chance, if you love knives, because that is the place to find them. And usually at Blade Show, they run specials. And that was one thing about this knife. I got this for a really good price. Uh, and it was a show special. These retail for $380. Uh, I'm seeing them around for around the 300 and below range, according to where you buy them. Uh, the show special was $200. And so I was really excited to get this. And uh, it made the trip down there worthwhile. Uh, well, the Blade Show itself was just excellent. So guys, if you're looking again for a OTF uh, and you want something that's really lightweight, it's easy to deploy, this is going to be a great choice. So the Kershaw Livewire Model 9000. A great little knife, very smooth operation. Again, it comes out with authority. And I love the form factor and the size. It's just that perfect pocket companion. And yet, when you need something, it comes out really fast. 
and I'm hoping to see some more offerings from the Kershaw team. So if you're looking for a really quality out the front knife, check out the Kershaw Livewire Model 9000. Great little knife. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. So I was really glad to see a imported little flunky. And this just has just a great just, 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 just. It has just, 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 just. <laughs> There's just something about that that's just cool. <laughs> and we're gonna go through a lot of the details, just kind of an overview of this really cool introduction of a knob.